Section 3.2. As we're looking at this, um, reviewing from the other day, let's start off with this. At the top corner, um, actually slide to the left and graph the following for me. Okay, so just graph this inequality. X is less than or equal <coughs> to 2. And put everything on that inequality that you think is important to have on that graph in whatever way, shape, or form from what you remember and the other day to do it. So just graph that and put on there whatever you think is important. Perspective-wise, how many numbers do you have to have on your number line? At least three, okay? So put two in the middle and one number above and one number below. I put a circle at two. Which way do I shade and why? Talk to me. Which way do I shade? Noah? Uh, to the left. Okay, I shade to the left. I like that. Why do I shade to the left? Who can tell me why? You're right. I agree. You are, you are completely right. Why do we shade left? There's two reasons. One. Dylan? Okay, what is less than two? And then what was the other way to remember? Brittany? Uh, the arrow points back. Okay, so it points left. That only works when what happens? TJ? Uh, okay, the variable has to be on the left. All right, so is that what you have? Haley's shaking her head no. Haley, what's wrong with what I've done? I didn't fill in the circle. Okay, why do I need to fill in that circle? Okay, because it's equal to. All right, idea one. Okay, slide to the bottom of the page. Idea two. How is that different? Three is less than X. What do we need to do? How do we need to change it? What do we need to arrange, rearrange? Brittany? Okay, so read this backwards for me. X is greater than 3. Then we do the exact same thing. Someone tell me which way will this one shade? To the right. Open circle or closed circle? Open. Okay. So that's a review from section 3.1. All right. Slide over. Let's look at section 3.2. Let's just review these steps here at the top. We're going to solve using adding or subtracting, just like last chapter. We're going to rewrite it with the variable on the left. Underline that, highlight it, star it, whatever the case may be. That is one of the most important things we're going to do. Um, on the number line, remember open circle versus closed circle. Remember to shade in the direction that it points. Less than to the left. They both start with an L is another way to remember it. Um, and greater than is the opposite way. Okay? So, here we go on our first one. Very simple. How do you get rid of a minus three? Add three. Add three, so put a plus three to both sides. Really want you to work on that vertical method. Left side is x, and then what's negative two plus three? Positive one. All right. I come down here to my number line. I put a one in the middle. Open circle or closed circle? What do you think there, Zach? Open or closed? Open, okay. Shade left or right, Carson? To the left. Excellent. Now they're going to ask you to check your work on these. Don't forget that big arrow as well because there's more off the graph than on the graph. Pick a number in the shaded section that's really easy to choose. What's the easiest number to pick? Zero, zero. okay. So let's try the number zero. So, put it in. Is 0 minus 3 less than negative 2? Well, what's 0 minus 3? Is that a true statement or a false statement? Okay, that's true. Well, where does the number 0 fall? Is it in the shaded section? So, if it's in the shaded section, Luis, it should be true. Now, on the opposite side, pick a number up here, Luis. Two. We, we all agree two is not in the shaded section? Okay, so let's try two. Two is 
2 minus 3 is less than negative 2. What's 2 minus 3? Negative 1. Is negative 1 less than negative 2? No. Now, the fact that we got a no answer, is that okay? Should the number 2 work? No. So if you try a number that's in the not shaded section, what should your check do? It should not work. If you try a number that's in the shaded section, what should your check do? It should work. So just because, Matt, your check works or doesn't work doesn't mean it's right or wrong. It depends what number you check. Does that make sense? All right. And who are you? You are a leprechaun. Very good. All right. 